While things were going so incredibly well on the Chatanyu, things back on the Derbyshire were rather quiet. The colonists had been picked up and ferried off the parts unknown, and the Impezi had shown up to take the Derbyshire undertow to the nearest space dock, which would be some rather 48 hours away in hyperspace. And since the Derbyshire was going to be technically out of commission for at least a couple of weeks, I granted leave to the crew so most of them had also departed. With only six people left on board and nothing to do, we now zoom in on the Derbyshire Bridge where Superfly, our pilot, is now playing a game of Squeech with third engineer's mate Linsky. Let's come in on there because, you see, things are about to go bad. They always seem to go bad, even when I'm not even there. So how long have you been with this crew, Linsky? About 12 years, give or take. Now, I've only been on board a year, and this is the only time I can remember that this ship has been quiet. It still happened, but very rarely. Two cards, please. What the frail was that? Sounded like something hit all that possible. We had hyperspace. Hang on, let me try to raise the MPZ and find out just what's going on here. I'll try to activate view screen. Dabba should do MPZ, Dabba should do MPZ. What the heck's going on out there? Main view offline. It won't turn on. And I can't raise the MPZ. Go wake up Belcher and the rest of the gang, because I think we're in trouble. Okay, as you remember from our last chapter, a group of Shazi had decided to take a poke at me while I was at the bar. Now, while the Shazi are crappy fighters in space, their melee skills are nothing to sneeze at. Did I mention they are basically bipedal goats complete with horns? Humans. So arrogant. You're claiming to have won the war and I'm arrogant? The clowns fled after we came into the war. They had us on the ropes. Nearly a hundred years of holding actions, falling back, and costly victories when there were any. You seriously need to let this go, or otherwise I'm gonna have to call security. Back off the law of you. So, is this what you call keeping a low-profile freedom son? Hey, they started it. Damn it, John, what are you doing? This is like the Hero 7 conference all over again. What happened then? John got drunk at the reception. He pulled down his pants and sat in the pudding. He definitely didn't make a good impression. Ugh. Actually, the creatures you called the Space Clowns fled because their homeworlds were wiped out over the course of a few days. I know that voice. So do I. It's that fellow over there, the bug-eyed man, all black and wearing feathers. Sangoma F you two. Hello, Dr. Freedom. Wait a minute. This is the Dr. Freedom, the one with the, um, 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 uh, you're, you're right, we were wrong. Uh, I'll see you later. Wait a minute. No, no, no. Wait a minute. Please tell me you're not about to say that the space clowns were wiped out by Tanamaku. As you would say, Dr. Freedom, serendipity. While everyone else was busy in the bar, Angus took this opportunity to find the engine room. As he's walking along, he pulls out a small laser rangefinder from one of his pockets and points it back down the corridor. He doesn't like what it tells him. That makes no bloody sense. How can this corridor be over a mile long? Oh, sorry, sometimes I slip. Why are you mopping the floor? Shouldn't the servitors be doing that? Where the ship used to clean itself, but time has had its way with the old girl. But that doesn't explain this. Yeah, well, she is the ship of mystery. <laughs> Sorry, I forget my manners. I'm Dorothy, ship's janitor. It is the ship of tears. <laughs> Welcome to the Hotel California. <laughs> Just call me Angus. So, who is that banged up servitor? 
Oh, that's Yark. Don't mind him. He's the oldest son of the here. He, 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 his, his mind's been going a bit, you know, goo goo gaga lately. Yeah. Tell you what, since you've mended it down this far, I think the ship likes you. How would you like a tour of the engine room? The last two players are on the board. How much longer before departure? Now that the final guests have boarded, it should be soon. Then this will likely be a final contact. You serve me well, slave. One last thing, Mr. Kane. One thing you did not mention. What is the black device on the side of the human crew members' heads? I've not seen anything like that before. The device you're referring to is a neural interface. It ties them to the ship and acts as a communication device for the crew. See you on the other side, slave. Wow. 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 Slade Allo. I knew you worked for scum, but isn't this a whole new low for you? Well, if it isn't Overwatcher Krill, the whipping boy of the Koyuma, is this your retirement cruise? I'm just wondering how you could be working for Kane. When he is supposed to be cooling his heels in an iso cube on Sprat 6. Well, isn't life just full of mysteries? If you're going to make a play for the Vindo women, I highly recommend it. Against it. Oh, Krill. This is gonna be the easiest money I've ever made. So, Tanamaku took out the space clown. The Zopalo? No. I thought they were a band. I think he means the space clowns. Yes, their species was called the Zopalo. Does this even matter? What is a Tanamaku? That is a very long story, Gene. Oh, yeah, by the way, um, Sangoma, I'm sorry, I forgot to send my condolences about Chief Yankaway. That is quite all right, Dr. Freedom. A new chief has been selected, and life and time move forward. Just please tell me it wasn't one of the Fukus, was it? Sadly, I must disappoint you, Dr. Freedom. The tribe is now under the leadership of Duma Fuku. Ah, Bobo. Well... At least it wasn't Budafuku. May I have your attention, ladies and gentlemen? Who the heck is that guy? That is Mr. Murdoch, first officer of the Shitanyu. What is that small black thing on his temple? That is a neural interface. That is how they stay in contact with the ship. The ship is alive, isn't it? Yes, Jean. And she is ancient as she is mysterious. Bugger. Uh, speaking of mysteries... Where's Bob? I was about to ask the exact same question. And now, my guests, please kindly look to our nearest viewport. You'll notice that we have not even left the starport, yet our journey is about to begin. And we won't leave the starport, at least not in any sense you're aware of. Now keep watching. The starboard, the stars, everything is fading. Or are we fading away? What? Wow, look at Jean's eyes. They are glowing blue. Fascinating. She seems to be in tune with the ship's Artron energy. <laughs> of course we are fading. Into the vortex, where she belongs. Or the Shetanyu is a TARDIS after all. <laughs> 